What's up, YouTube? Once again, you're in the kitchen with Paul. But you know what? We're not in the kitchen today. We're out on the deck with the barbecue grill. I've been marinating some chicken breasts up and I decided that I was gonna put them on the grill today because it's such a beautiful day. So that's what we're doing in the kitchen with Paul. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, a lot of people say that you don't get that that charcoal taste when you cook on a gas grill. But I've uh, made some adjustments in order to get that taste and still had the convenience of that grill. First thing I did, you see over in the corner there, that's a tube smoker. And what you do is you put little uh, wood chips into that tube smoker and you light it. And it stays lit for about four or five hours. And it burns through and it gives you that smoky taste. And also, if you look down inside the grill, I have a pan there. And that pan has wood charcoal in it. And that wood charcoal, I didn't light. I just allowed it to light by itself when I turned the grill on. That's why you gotta have the grill screaming hot. And once you see those embers or those tips of that wood charcoal start to get white, you know it's ready. You know, a lot of times when you cook with a charcoal grill, you get the fire just right and then you run out of food to cook. And then you gotta let that fire burn out. Well, we're not doing that. We got just enough charcoal to give us the, the taste that we want. We got just enough uh, smoky wood flavor to give us the taste we want, and that's hickory wood, of course. And we got a gas grill, which is convenient. So we're getting ready to put our chicken on. Let's go. You know, the first thing that you have to do, you see how that smoke is coming out of that grill. So you're gonna have that smoky flavor in that meat. But the first thing that you have to do is you got to make sure that your grill is going to be nice and hot. Once you get it nice and hot, you have to make sure that your meat's not going to stick. And what I do is I have a little bowl with some oil in it. And I take a piece of paper, a paper towel, and I rub that on the grill. And that oils up the grates to make sure that nothing is going to stick when we put our meat on. We make sure that we for the train to go by. Make sure that we've done those grates. Get them nice and oily. We take our chicken. Now what did I do with our chicken? Our chicken was marinating for two days. And what did it marinate in? It was marinating in some uh, cilantro and olive oil that I put into the uh, food processor to make like a little pesto. And we had some Italian seasoning. We had, of course, Chef Paul's triple play with the garlic, the onion, and the seasoning salt. And now we're gonna take this and put it on the grill. Oh man, listen to that sizzle. Sounds so great, wouldn't you agree? We're gonna make sure that we got all that marinade on our meat. There you go. Mm. 
the most important thing that we're going to do right now is we're just going to leave that meat alone. Don't play with your meat when it's on the grill. You leave it alone, and when it's ready to be turned, the meat will release from the grill grates. If you try and move it around, you're going to shred up the meat, and it's not going to be good. Ooh-wee! YouTube, I wish you could smell what I smell. Man, this chicken smells good. Oh, boy, I cannot wait until we get this chicken off the grill. Let's check and see how it's looking. That looks like some good chicken. Let's go in for a closer look. Boy, those breasts look good. Now, these breasts are pretty thick. I would say they're about an inch and a half, almost two inches thick. So you wanna make sure that they're cooked all the way through. And when you wanna make sure that they're cooked all the way through, your meat thermometer is your friend. So as we try to move these, you see, they come right up off the grill. See that? They come right up off the grill. No problems at all. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these and put them up top. Why are we gonna put them up top? Well, number one, we want some of that smoke to get into them. But also, what we want, we want to make sure that they are at the temperature to make sure that they are done. And what is that temperature? 160 degrees. 160 degrees. So as they absorb some of that smoke flavor, Let's get our meat thermometer and check them out. Okay, what you want to do is you want to take this meat thermometer and you want to pierce the chicken at its greatest point, at its thickest point. And that meat thermometer, whoo, it's hot on there. It's going to tell you what the temperature is of that meat. And right now it's hovering around 116 degrees. So that means it's going to have to cook for a little bit. Okay, YouTube. We're all done with our chicken. This is what it looks like. This is the final finished product. It's succulent. It's juicy. But once again, we have to let it rest for about 10 minutes. So those juices can flow back into the chicken breast. So it can loosen up. So the meat can relax. Okay, YouTube, that's it. We've cooked our grilled chicken. It's nice golden brown. It's resting right now. It smells delicious. And pretty soon, once it finishes resting, we're gonna show you that it tastes delicious. Once again, you've been in the kitchen with Paul. But today, you're on the deck with Paul. If you enjoyed being in the kitchen with Paul, if you enjoyed being on the deck with Paul, if you enjoyed cooking with Paul, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, feel free, write me a comment, write me a question. Let me know what you want to see on my channel next, okay? Please subscribe, and once you subscribe, hit that little bell. That's gonna notify you every time that I have a new recipe up on In the Kitchen with Paul. Once again, always, even when the train's going by, keep God first in your life. Love your family, and of course, love yourself. We've been in the kitchen with Paul. I'm Paul. Peace, y'all.